Hello and welcome back to the Omaha Beach section. Uh, this is D plus one, June 7th, 1944. Uh, we are in a different section of the mural, but before I get to some of the vignettes on uh, this great piece of artwork, I want to talk about some of the artifacts that you can see here. I talked about we have a host of artifacts in this section. What you are looking at here are two pieces of hedgehogs. Uh, these are some of the obstacles that the engineers, uh, the infantrymen, the medics, and other soldiers who came ashore on had to contend with but talking about some of the vignettes on the mural as you can see here you see a tank uh, some of us know automatically that this is a tank of Alpha Company of the 741st tank battalion because it is fitted with the snorkel kits uh, these are deep wading or deep fording tanks which meant they had to be dropped off close enough to the shore where the bottom of the tank could touch the ground as, as long as the snorkel kit was above water, it would make it to shore. Uh, on this side, you see a group of leaders. And this is a command section. And again, some detail and some telltale sign. Uh, what you see is two vertical bars on the back of the helmets of two of these men. You also see a radio man. Usually where there is a radio man, uh, there are leaders. But you also see another soldier. He's actually not a soldier, the guy with uh, the cigarette, he is a civilian. That is war correspondent Ernie Pyle, who came ashore on D plus one June 7th. Uh, some uh, of us know him as the man who told us the truth about D-Day. And he writes poignantly, poetically about what he actually saw uh, that morning. As he says, walking calmly among the beach where men are just sleeping and resting peacefully and men are peacefully floating in the water and the waves and the shore. Of course, those men were not sleeping. Those were dead soldiers and sailors, casualties of D-Day. And, and one last vignette I would like to share is the story of those three soldiers you see uh, next to the bluff and the E, which uh, denotes this as Easy Red Beach. Those are the African-American soldiers of the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion. So those balloons that you often see in images on D-Day and on Normandy were operated by the African-American soldiers of the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion who also contributed to the success of the Normandy invasion.